Hey there, Blue Mages, Liam here, and welcome back to Blue Academy. Today, I'm going to be talking about the macros that I use to make role swapping more easy as a Blue Mage. It turns out that role management as a Blue Mage is really just awful. Um, having to manually maintain gear sets and then doing things like, oh, I'm a healer right now, but my party needs me to be a tank, so I'm going to go tank and then, you know, start dragging these abilities down and doing all this. That's just uh, really tedious. So instead, I have some macros set up that will easily swap all of these things for me. So there's my raid tank setup. Here's my DPS setup. And here's my heal setup. Um, I'm not going to go into great detail about these bars that I have here. If you do some Googling just for things like, uh, you know, Final Fantasy 14 UI macros, um, you'll find out how these things work. But I will go into great detail about these macros here, my Blue Mage roll macros. Now I'm going to do this all as one single cut, just so you can see how we build this up. But if you don't really care to watch the whole thing, you can just copy the macros that I have in the description and, uh, you know, put them to use for however you see fit. Now, the main idea for this is that if we have a job unlocked, for example, if I look at Scholar, we have these lovely, you know, hot bars, and this is our scholar bar. But we did come from a class, and, uh, oh, I guess this is, oh yeah, I have scholar specific gear equipped, so I actually, I can't do this. I'm going to choose a, a lower level class. I have, uh, I've just started leveling ninja, so I have, I have, um, this unlocked, and I have my ninja crystal here. So here's my ninja bar, ninja crystal. If I unequip that, and go back to a rogue, you can see my hotbar just changed. So rogue actually has a separate hotbar from ninja. And you might notice this um, or remember this from when you changed your main class to a job, having to reset your hotbars and how much of a pain it was. Um, basically, we still have all of these bars. Every single class and job has their own set of bars and we can use that to our advantage. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna switch to blue mage and this is currently my setup, but the secret here is that we can copy hotbars back and forth between classes. So if I say hotbar copy, um, and just for example, I can copy scholar one to blue one. You can see this just copied my scholar hotbar, the scholar hotbar one to uh, my blue mage one. Now the numbers here correspond to, if we look at HUD layout, can see we have one two and three um and it's worth pointing out as well that you want these to not be shared i don't actually remember where exactly we set that that might be somewhere in settings but um, we don't want to use shared hotbars for this we want to use the um class specific ones so we can copy hotbars back and forth and if i did copy ninja one or sorry we we're going to use rogue Ro rogue one blue one you can see it copies these so let's go back to being a ninja for a second and we're going to take off our our soul crystal so now we're a rogue now i'm going to remove all of these spells here and let's just start setting up our hot bars here. We'll just drag some blue mage spells down. Um, I'm not actually going to set this up how I would have my my bar really set up. Actually, this is kind of close, uh, but I just want to have something on each bar. Um, just drag some random abilities down and so on. So here is our ninja, or sorry, our rogue, and we're never really going to see this again because. You know, we're, we're a ninja, so we don't really care. But let's switch back to blue mage, and let's see how we can copy these over. All right, so we're a blue mage here. Um, you can see our bar here just kind of sucks. So what we're going to do is hot bar, copy, rogue, one, blue, one. And you can see it copied these ones, right? And now we want to do rogue, two, blue 2, and rogue 3, 
Clue 3. So these were the bars that I just set up on my Rogue. And we can copy them here. Um, now, the only thing that isn't great about this is if I then want to change my bar as a blue mage, it's not going to be saving that. So, for example, if I changed to this, this doesn't change the way it was as rogue. So if I unequip this, you can see those new spells that I just added aren't there. Now, if we only play one role, that doesn't matter. But you're not watching this because you only play one role. You want to be able to switch between roles. So, let's, uh, let's imagine then that we want to switch to a tank. So, let's use... Let me see. Uh, I can't remember which ones... Ah, so I've already... You can see I've already used Marauder for one of these. Uh, we don't actually have to use a tank class, though. I guess we could use pretty much anything. Let me see. Do I use Pugilist? Okay, so here we can use Pugilist. Um, if we go to Monk, once we once we have Monk unlocked, we basically no longer need Pugilist bars, right? So we can then switch to uh, a tank set here. These are some tank spells. Let's do... I don't know, just drag some stuff on here. We don't actually really care where these are going right now. This is just to demonstrate. Um, so here we have some tank spells. We switch to blue. This was our, our healing spells, but now we're using our tank setup. And obviously these spells aren't going to be on our tank setup. So now let's do copy PGL for Pugilist 1, blue 1. And do the same for two, and do the same for three. Right, so now that is going to be our tank spells. Basically, we are using those classes to hold our action bars for the uh, different roles. The unused action bars will now be the used action bars for our, our roles as Blue Mage. But obviously, we don't want to type this in every single time. So instead, we will make a macro. So here, um, I will call this uh, blue tank, and we'll say hotbar copy pgl1 blue1, and then do pgl2 blue2, pgl3 blue3. So that'll be our blue tank, and I'm just going to choose the shield icon. So Reminds me of a tank. And I will do one for heal, too. And we said we were using rogue for that. Okay. So now, let's just drag these onto my bar. If I have these macros set up, you can now see if I click blue tank. Oh, I forgot to name this. Blue tank. This will load these spells. Blue heal will load those spells. Pretty cool, right? And now, let's say... So here's our healer setup. We want to change what our healer bar looks like. If we switch back to tank, and then back to heal, you can see those changes aren't saved. And that's because we just loaded from the uh, stored hotbars. And when we change the blue hotbar, we're not changing the stored hotbar. So we can also do something like the following. So let's say we just changed our healer bar. Now we basically want to do the inverse of this. So here we're copying rogue to blue mage. If we make changes and we copy blue mage to rogue, then we will be saving those things. So now let's... Uh, Let's call it save blue heal. Now we want to have this the other way around, right? So this will be, we're going to be copying to rogue and we'll be copying from blue. Let's drag this on there. Okay, so remember here we haven't saved these, right? So if we switch to tank, back to heal, we lost our stuff there. If we then 
start dragging stuff down here. If we then click save blue heal, what we've now done is we've changed our rogue hotbar to have these spells. So that means if we then load something else and then load blue heal again, these changes are saved. Now let's look at the macros that I, I actually use for these rules. Things are very slightly different here. Um, actually, I forgot to mention this. We want blue spellbook presets as well. So here I have uh, some blue spellbook presets that I use. Um, I have DPS, heal, and tank. So in our macros, we want to use, where is it? This line right here, blue spellbook preset. So if I'm loading my blue heal, We'll do blue spellbook preset two. And for tank, we will do blue spellbook preset three. So you can see here, we loaded our, our healer set, but we have the wrong spell loadout. But now if we switch between these by clicking our macros, you can see it changes our spellbook too. Nice and easy. We can also change gear sets as part of our macro. Now, I have two different gear sets. I have a tank uh, and healer gear set. So my healer gear set is spell speed and determination. And you look if you look at the earlier video about best in slot gear, you'll see why I take these. And then I also have a DPS loadout, which is primarily crit and direct hit. So you can also add these lines, gear set, change, and then whatever number gear set you want to change to. And then uh, this is a glamour plate option. So I actually have different glams for my gear sets as well. Um, so you don't need to worry about that. But let's say we want to do uh, GS change 20 and GS change 21. So 20 is what I have for my tank and heal, and 21 is what I use for DPS. But just for demonstration, we're going to have it set up this way. So now if I click blue tank, you can see that just changed to my spell speed and determination. Then if I click blue heal, you can see it changed to my DPS set here. You can also... Uh, have basically as many of these as you want. Um, so it really only makes sense to have one per blue spellbook. And I have four rolls here. So I have um, my DPS set, my heal set, my tank set, and my raid tank set. And tank sets just for like dungeons and stuff like that. So pretty much we can switch between our rolls really easily with these macros. It takes a little bit of time to get these set up, but basically the first time that you use these, you'll see just how worth it it is to actually take the time to set these up. A lot of people are pretty hesitant to, uh, to want to switch roles just because of how annoying it can be to keep these things, you know, in sync and change them around. But with these macros, it makes it way, way easier. The main thing is that you want to make sure that you are updating or you're hitting your, your store or save macros whenever you make changes to these things. And you only want to do it when you're on the correct roll. So for example, I have my heal set up here. If I then clicked store blue DPS or raid tank or basically anything that's not heal, it's going to save it on the bars that I'm using for that roll, which then means when I go to load that roll, I'll be getting the wrong roll, uh, and I'll have to reset my, my bars. Now that's not really that bad, you're no really worse off than you were in the first place, that just means you then have to open this up and drag your abilities down and save it again. Um, but it's just something to watch out for. So that's it for uh, for this video. Um, it's uh, I know it's a little bit dense, you know, walking through how these various things work. Uh, maybe some of this even just went totally over your head with how we're, we're copying these things. 
Um, but even if you didn't understand, you know, why these things work the way they do, you can still use these macros effectively. And I definitely recommend doing that. It, it just makes things so much easier to be able to switch back and forth this quickly, have your bars set up, have your, your gear set change, your spell books, all that. I hope you enjoyed the video and, uh, you know, best of luck with all your blue maging.